Hey everybody, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner for another official, the title always gives it away, uh, another official unboxing video. And today we are unboxing, as the title tells you, Photoshop Elements 2020. So, and it's funny with Amazon anymore, they don't always send boxes. Sometimes they send these envelopes now. So, I wasn't called official unpackaging, but it doesn't sound as catchy as the unboxing videos, right? So, I played around a little bit with Photoshop Elements 2020 and I thought, you know what, there's enough new features where I'm going to upgrade and um, go to the new version. I, I didn't buy last year's version, but I did buy 2018's. So I do have that version on the computer. And we're going to follow up with this video and I'm going to show you, uh, well, we'll have another uh, a few more videos coming after this one anyway, let's say, where we'll do some comparison. But right now, let's unbox it and see what they send you when you buy a boxed copy of Photoshop Elements and we'll talk about why I did that. Got my handy dandy knife here. Just cut the top of this off. And it's funny the other day my wife called me and said hey you know she stopped at the post office and picked up the package. She said I thought you were getting a big box. I said no it's, it's a small box. So anyway here it is. Let's go ahead and bring this out. Ah, yes, there it is, folks. Photoshop Elements 2020, and we are going to unbox this baby. I'm going to show you what's inside of it. Let me get a closer look of it here. This is the boxed version of Photoshop Elements 2020. Now, you may ask, you may say, well, Jack, why would you buy the boxed version of Photoshop Elements? Because on Amazon, as well as on Adobe's website, you can actually download it and buy it right there and they'll just email you a key and you're good to go. I buy the box version for the main reason that then when I buy this way, I can load this on Windows or the Mac. So there's, there's a catch for you. If you buy them that way, here's the inside of the box cover. If you buy them that way on um, Amazon, you would have to buy a separate uh, copy for each device you want to put it on. Now, that's not to say if you, if you buy the Windows version, all you have is Windows machines. I believe you can still install it on up to three machines. It's either two or three. And if you have a Mac, you buy the Mac version, you can install it on two or three Macs, like the, a desktop, like I run here, the iMac, uh, or a laptop, uh, if you have a, you know, a MacBook Pro or whatever. So they do have some great new stuff in here. Uh, there's some new stuff. Let me uh, read these off. The new uh, revitalize your photos with automatic color uh, colorization. And we'll play with these uh, in the videos on the computer so I can show these to you. New auto select your subject with one click. I think that's amazing. They're using an algorithm and it's really cool. New make people look their best with automatic skin smoothing. Be careful with that. And we showed that in past videos here at Jack's Tech Corner where you can actually make somebody almost look porcelain, so be very careful with that. New, find any video fast, smart tagging that applies to both photos and videos based in the subjects. New object removal, so there's a new way to even remove objects like maybe a person that's in your shot or something that you want to just pull out of there. The new pattern brush, we will be checking that out on some videos. A new depth of field. Everybody knows I love depth of field, right? That's why we buy these expensive lenses to get that shallow depth of field where you, somebody's in focus and everything in back is kind of blurred out. But you can do it now in post-production. So that's, that's pretty cool. And we can do it before with a little bit of manipulation. New uh, painterly. So there's a new way to paint frames on your photos. And new black and white selection. So you can do selective black and white, which we've done that in the past. So, um, and order over 140 photos, GIFs, and prints right from Photoshop Elements, and it does say on this box, U.S. only. So, I'm sorry if you're in another country, you cannot do it. So, let's see here if I can open this without, I don't like ripping my boxes. I take care of my box. I have Photoshop Elements in boxes from way back. I mean, many, many, many years ago. I started with Photoshop Elements, I think, with their very first version, so... And uh, then I started doing YouTube videos, so I have a lot of experience with this stuff. And I actually like it better than Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop has its place in the world, but it's not on my computer because I like to do things uh, in a more easy fashion. I don't need all that uh, Photoshop. 
that's about it that's it inside the box um let's see i got here so yes you do get the um the windows version is right here try to turn this around and yes you can still buy cds i mean people always say cds are dead uh software on cds is, is a thing of the past but there you go um there's the windows version right there that's what you get in the box the windows version and then let's see here yep and then you get like i said you get both of them one, one, in one box i mean it's the best of both worlds now remember you're still going by your key number your registration so you can still only do you can do a mix and match oh but there is the mac version if you can see that so what else do you get in this box we got the cds what else do we get in this box we got uh try it today and save 20 percent. there's a promo code uh fuji film prints and gifts so we got this little card here advertising their uh, prints and gifts let's get my face back off there a little bit we don't want to scare anybody but folks that is the official unboxing of photoshop elements 2020 and yes a lot of you've been asking jack where in the heck have you been um, I've been doing um, other ventures. I've been having a lot of other ventures I've been doing uh, between getting a new job, uh, you know, uh, different hobbies that pull you away from my original content here at Jack's Tech Corner or 42 Techno Man. Uh, because I started this when I was 42 years old. That's hard to believe. I got, all, you know, 42, I got over 10 years on this channel. So I don't want to let this channel uh, just fade away. So I am coming back. I'm bringing more photography tips and tricks. And I know there's 10 billion people on YouTube now doing these. Um, but I think I was one of the official Photoshop Elements instructors on YouTube. So if you like my style of teaching, stick around. I'm going to try to make them more direct and uh, easier to understand. Uh, I used to get a lot of comments, you know, oh, you talk too much. And, and, and I do, like right now. I tend to talk a lot. Um, but I want to give the instructions so you understand it. So the first thing we're going to look at uh, on my next video with Photoshop Elements 2020 will be um, we're going to look at some of the installation and then we'll just look at some of the post installation. And yes, you can have multiple versions of Photoshop Elements on your computer. A lot of people ask me that. That's a big question. And I think it's because people say, well, look, I got used to using Photoshop Elements 2016 or 2018 and uh, now I'm going to upgrade, but I don't want to make that sudden jump. I want to do it slowly you can have multiple copies of elements on your computer. So actually right now on my Mac, I have too many. Uh, I don't use the old ones. So, but we'll also be talking about some plugins and stuff that I've used over the years, uh, stuff that makes editing even easier to the point where it's, uh, you know, uh, we want to make it, we want to make your workflow as easy as possible. So Photoshop elements, if you're watching this video and you bought this software, or if you have not right now, I can tell you I bought it on Amazon. And, and I got it for $60. It's normally $99. So look around, uh, look around, uh, filming this on actually on Thanksgiving. If you look around tomorrow on Black Friday for the deals, you may find this even cheaper than $59. But pick up a copy because these next lessons are going to be following this. So folks, thank you so much for watching this video of the official unboxing of Photoshop Elements 2020. I'm excited. I can't wait to get started with it on the computer. Uh, I played with the trial version a little bit and, and I've been extremely pleased with it. So I knew that I had to get back into teaching you the proper way to use Photoshop Elements. Like I said, there's a million people on the internet. A lot of them are pretty good, but um, I've been doing this for over 10 years now and I hope you stick with me. Uh, and keep those comments coming because we're going to start firing back and talking more on this channel also. So thank you. And if you're watching this today, picking this video up, have a great Thanksgiving day. I hope you don't overeat. And, uh, but I hope you uh, take a lot of pictures. That's very, very important. And I should do the same thing today. So I got some, uh, some, some photographs to do some editing with. Uh, so we'll talk to you next time. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you here very, very soon. Bye for now, everybody.